What up, y'all? It's Roman well, Sedan Time Ray Mel. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Tuesday, June 15th, 2021. Delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mel. That's R E Y M E L O. On Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Peaky Blinders star Paul Anderson is set to star in the upcoming World War II action film Immortal from director uh, Hamari Helander. Immortal takes place in 1945 and follows an ex-soldier old in the wilderness of Lapland, Finland, played by Jorma Tamila. The ex-soldier uh, tries to bring the gold into the city, where he encounters a squadron, a squadron of Nazi soldiers led by Anderson, a battle that ensues for the treasure. The film will begin production in Lapland in September. Sony Pictures Worldwide Acquisitions does world distribute rights outside Nordic, with Nordisk films have taken uh, rights. Uh, Petra uh, Cori Ranta is producing through Zub Zero Film Entertainment with Mike Goodridge, Gregory Ohayan, and Antonio Salas, executive producer. Helander said in a statement, To make an action film in Finland has been a dream of mine since I was 10 years old. Finally, I'm in a situation where I can fully uh, fulfill my dream and make an epic action-packed survival story which takes place in World War II. Anderson play uh, stars as author Shelby in Peaky Leap Blinders. The crime drama will end with its upcoming sixth season. FX has announced a slate of Juneteenth marathons, which will include films such as Selma and the TV series Blackish. Juneteenth celebrates the end of slavery in the United States and marks the day when the U.S. Army ships forced Texas landowners to free the last of their slaves. FX will air a marathon uh, consisting of Selma, The Hate You Give, Black Klansman, Green Book, and Hidden Figures on Saturday at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. FXX will host the Blackish Marathon that will explore episodes that explores what it means to be black in America. The Blackish Marathon, which runs Saturday from uh, 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which features the show's season four premiere episode that deals with Juneteenth. FXM will also air a movie marathon featuring The Hate You Give, Get Out, and Selma on Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Blackish was renewed by ABC for an eighth and final season in May. There are Buckler and Marina Bakarin are set to star in the sequel to 2020's thriller Greenland titled Greenland Migration. Butler and Bakarin are returning as John and Allison Garrity as the Garrity family must leave the Greenland bunker to find a new home across Europe's frozen wasteland. Director Rick Roman Wah is also returning to helm the sequel from a script by Greenland writer Chris Sparling. Butler is also producing through G-Base along with Alan Siegel. Uh, Basil Iwanyik and Brendan Baella are producing through the Productions Road, along with Sebastian Raybound and John Zoyas of Anton. Greenland was released in August and earned over $52 million worldwide during the COVID-19 pandemic when many theaters were closed. Megan Boone is exiting the NBC crime drama The Blacklist after eight seasons. Boone is leaving the series following the season 8 finale, which air, which will air on June 23rd. The actress portrayed FBI agent Elizabeth Keene, who works alongside James Spader's Raymond Red Reddington. The NBC has declined to comment on Boone's exit. The blacklist from creator John Bookcamp was launched in 2013 and follows Spader's Reddington, a criminal who helps the FBI track down other criminals with Boone's Keene. Uh, star Harry Lennox, uh, Diego Klattenhoff, and Spader will be the only remaining original cast members left on the series. Boone has also starred in the spinoff The Blacklist Redemption, The Underground uh, Railroad, Law and Order, um, L.A. Blue Bloods, and Sex and the City 2. NBC renewed The Blacklist for a ninth season in January. 
Uso's uh, Duba discussed the ending her character Zazan Crazy Eyes Warren received on Orange is the New Black and if the Netflix series will continue while appearing on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. The actress was asked by a fan if she was happy with Crazy Eyes' ending on, on Sunday. The episode was the first edition of Watch What Happens Live uh, to feature a studio audience uh, since uh, the COVID-19 pandemic began. Abdullah said, was I happy with the way Crazy Eyes' Suzanne's story ended? Yeah, because that was how her story was meant to complete. You know, you never know how life is going to go. Orange's New Black ran for seven seasons on Netflix from 2013 to 2019. Crazy Eyes ended the series realizing that she shouldn't be in prison and that the system can be unfair. Aduba was also asked if there was ever a will be a spin-off or prequel series of Orange is the Blue Orange is the New Black. Aduba says before praising the show's creator Jenny Cohen and how she can come up with uh, endless stories. Anything is impossible. Anything is possible. Um, Apple TV Plus is giving a glimpse of the morning show season two. The streaming service shared a teaser trailer for the season Monday, featuring Juliana Margulies as the new UBA anchor Laura Peterson. The previous show's uh, UBI is Alex Levy, played by Jennifer Aniston, and Bradley Jackson, played by Reese in UBI, UBA's Toxic Workplace. Alex has publicly left the show and refuses to return, despite Corey Ellison, played by Billy Crudup's urging. Laura, uh, played by Mar Margellis, is brought on as the new anchor and is seen facing off with Alex during a sit-down interview. Showrunner Carrie uh, Herwin told Entertainment Weekly that Laura will serve as a stabilizing force at UBA and a mentor to Bradley. And this is Witherspoon. Uh, Erwin says Laura started kind of... Uh, Started kind of like a Dateline show. She's a uber star and an icon at a Diane Sawyer level. We wanted to create a mentor figure, but for, for Bradley, that was somebody who does things differently. The morning shows created by Jay, uh, the morning shows created by Jay Carson. The series is inspired by the Brian Shelter uh, book, Top of the Morning, and Inside the Cutthroat World of Maltori. Steve Carell, Mark DePlace, Gugu Mabatha Ra, Nestor Cabronel, Karen Pittman, Bill Pauly, Discantere, also co star. Uh, the series will return September 17th. Peacock has uh, renewed comedy series Girls Forever for a second season. The official Twitter account for Peacock announced the, made the announcement on Monday alongside a countdown video. Sarah Bareilles, Vizzy Phillips, Paula Pett, Renee Elise Goldsberry star in Girls Forever, which follows a one-hit wonder pop group from the 90s making a comeback. Co-stars include Ashley Park, Jonathan Hadley, uh, uh, Daniel Breaker, and Erica Hemingsey. Meredith Sarcandino uh, created the series. Tina Fey, Robert Cartlock, and Jeff Ridgman uh, serve as the executive producers. Um, Girl Forever was, premiered on Peacock in May. First season consists of eight episodes. Netflix is giving a glimpse of a typical season four. A streaming service shared a trailer for this uh, for this uh, the season Monday, featuring Kira Gilchrist uh, and Sam Gardner, a young man on the preview sees a new beginnings for Sam, uh, played by Gardner, his sister Casey, but played by Bridget Lundy Payne and other characters. Sam is seen moving in with his friend Zahad facing academic probation and contemplating his future after college. Meanwhile, Casey, played by Lundy Payne, navigates her relationship with Izzy, played by Bible Stewart, and her mom, uh, played by Jennifer Jason Lee, reacting to her coming out. Michael Rappenport co-stars as Sam and Casey's father, uh, Dog. Dog, uh, the series, also featured Graham Rogers and Jenny Lowe. Matthew Good and Helena Bottom Carter have joined the cast of the house. Uh, Deadline reported Monday that Good, Bottom Carter, Miranda Richardson, and Susan Wacoma will have voice roles 
in the new Netflix stop motion animated dark comedy. The house centers on a house, and the surreal picture is the house uh, centers on a house, and the surreal stories of the people who have lived there. Veronica says uh, Diesel Rascal, uh, Rascal uh, Nick Goth, and Jarvis Cocker will also join the cast. Bottom McCarter will voice Jen, an eccentric tenant, while Rascal will voice the character known as the policeman. Um, Charlie Bravasso. Um, producer Charlotte Bravasso says the characters in the house are about in different ways and are all trying to make sense of the world and their place with it. It's about their, uh, it's all about their flawed attempt to conform an idea of who they think, what they think, uh, uh, and whether they manage to break uh, free. Bravo added, we couldn't have a trend of a better cast. They all embraced the heart of those existentialistic comedies and the unique ca causic sense of humor of our visionary filmmakers. The house was split into three chapters. Emma Deswaff and Mark Jacobs Rell will direct chapter one. Nikki Lindroff will dream chapter two. And Paloma will direct Ca uh, capital, such a scene. Netflix released the trailer for season two of its canine docu series Dogs on Monday, along with the trailer for the new series Cat People. Both series premiere on July seventh. Season two of Dogs features the stories of four dogs and their owners in four episodes. Those include a university mascot and his handler, an astronaut with two Rhodesian ridge ridgebacks a priest who cares for an injured dog, and a military contractor rescued dog on the streets of Iraq. Season 1 aired in 2018. Netflix renewed the uh, series in 2019. Cat People follows several car owners and the unique strategies uh, uh, feelings. The trailer uh, shows a cat birthday party on Instagram. An Instagram cat celebrity, a rescuer nursing uh, street cats to to be healthy, a surfer sharing a board with the cat, and a cat who trains cats to play instruments. Cat people are have six episodes. Uh, Jippers uh, zombie. Uh, rather, cat people has six episodes. Glenn Zipper created and executive produced both series. And finally, KISS will resume its End of the Road Tour in August. The rock band announced new dates for the World Tour Monday after postponing most of the 2020 shows due to the coronavirus pandemic. KISS will kick off the North American leg of the tour August 18th in Manchester, Massachusetts and bring to a close October 9th in Tampa, Florida. Tickets go on sale Friday at 10 a.m. local time, with pre-sales to begin Tuesday at 10 a.m. The group said in a joint statement, time marched on, but we could. Now the boots are on and we're calling the exciting year worth of pyro, lights, and spectacle. We are back, we are pumped, and can't wait to celebrate our biggest, wildest, and hottest show ever. End of the Road will mark Kiss's final tour as a band. The band formed in 1973. And as the entertainment report for Tuesday, June 15, 2021, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O. On Twitter at The Enter Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of The Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the entertainment report and it'll take you to the page. Good night and God bless you all.